to. <laughs> Endocrinologist Dr. Christopher Schoonover, thanks so much for being here with thanks Alina today. Me. So let's talk about first, what is prediabetes and why should we not ignore this? You know, prediabetes is a really common diagnosis. It really means mild elevations in blood sugars. Okay. Uh, the significance of that diagnosis is the fact that most patients who have prediabetes go on to develop diabetes later in life. But you can do some things to change that, uh, simple as losing weight. So you want to add maybe a little bit of exercise to your diet or uh, to your uh, daily routine? That's exactly right. For patients diagnosed with prediabetes, the key conversation with the doctor is going to center around weight loss. Okay. Now specifically, 5 to 10 percent weight loss can really dramatically reduce the risk of progressing to diabetes. All right, and then food is going to play a big part too. Food plays a huge part. Um, obviously, when we talk about lifestyle modification, the two things that come into play are diet and exercise. If we're going to reference exercise, the key concept for a lot of people is just trying to incorporate some consistent daily physical activity. My tip would be a daily walk, 30 minutes, but every day. All right. Now, when we talk about food, the concept here is a subtle, gradual reduction in the calories every meal, every day. To make that a little more uh, tangible for people, we brought in some examples here. All right, so let's start with breakfast. So this is a, you've got some eggs, some vegetables. Yeah, um, relatively familiar items on the plate with the eggs, the toast, some veggies, juice, and milk. Now the first place that I would look in terms of this meal for reducing the calories right. is really the beverage. That's an easy one. If we were to eliminate the calories in the juice, perhaps adding some water, We've already made a tremendous stride forward to reducing the calories. Also, bend but don't break. You know, you like toast. Why don't we simply reduce the amount of toast oh, in that go. meal? Yeah. And right there, we've made some progress towards our goals. Uh, some things for lunch? Lunch, very familiar items here. The classic sandwich, chips, and soda that we're familiar with. Again, my emphasis would first go to the beverage. If we can get rid of the calories in a soda pop, again, perhaps substituting water. And if we were to look for other improvements on this meal, maybe getting rid of some of these calories that are on the chips. Now here's a piece of fresh fruit. That's a really nice addition. It's an attractive meal with much less calories than we started with. All right, well, we're running out of time, so we're gonna have to send people to our website to get uh, some more tips about dinner, but I assume same thing with the beverages and, and things like that. These are all really great tips, very important information. We appreciate you being here today, Doctor. We do have all this information and some more information on healthy choices on the Care 11 app under the 4 p.m. show page. We'll be right back.